guys ask and uh, you shall receive. What is up guys, long time no see. Uh, we are going to be building the EVA Unit 1 Fujimi test type crawdad, crawfish, mommy crawdad, whatever you want to call it today. Evangelion is no stranger to collabs. I'm literally wearing a Bursta collab with Evangelion. Funny enough, it does not have Shinji on it, which we are building his suit today. But however, in this line, they do have Asuka's, oop, that is not Asuka. They do have Asuka's Unit 2 color kit as well. I was not able to get it, but we have Shinji's. If you guys want to see Asuka, let me know. This kit is literally probably the weirdest kit in my collection. It might be Cat Tank. <laughs> Cat Tank is pretty weird. Uh, I think uh, Evangelion Crawdad is a little bit more weird. I have never built a model kit from Fujimi, but apparently this is just a recoloring of their Mudbug model kit, which is also a Crawdad as well. And they just put Evangelion color schemes on it. I do know that the articulation on this is supposed to be really, really good, and the pincers are literally going to close and articulate. So of course we're gonna have it holding probably a Gundam or something like that. It's been a while since I made a video so let's just get right into building this guy. Literally, look, look at him, he's so cute. Stickers, I am not going to be painting this model kit. Uh, I think that it's fine just the way it is. Maybe one day I will, but I don't know. It's just so weird, I kinda just wanna build him. Look at this, like, these are all the runners, everything. It's not too bad, right? I think it's just a bunch of little tiny pieces. Look at the little legs and stuff. You know what, let me get it out of the plastic here. You know what, this is gonna be chaos cut. Chaos cut, cause that's the way we're doing mobile suit mist this year. Oh my gosh, no I can't, I cannot do chaos cut. Sorry about chaos cut. We're gonna do chaos rip instead. I'm doing okay, how are you guys? Are you guys doing good? Awesome. It, that's kind of making me hungry. Somebody needs to make a backstory for Evangelion Crawdad. Like, is it just fighting for its life? Just down down in Tokyo, I guess it wouldn't be Tokyo 3, it'd be like Tokyo 4 or 5, right? Look at that. You know what? I'm really impressed with the detailing on this bad boy. The plastic is, is pretty durable. I'm kind of interested in seeing how that's gonna react. Here is our runner pile. Not too terribly bad. The pamphlet, one of my favorite parts about it is like literally it's Misato. Misato is literally just like in the anime telling you exactly what to do. Okay, uh, first impressions are I'm not very, very impressed with the fitment on this. It's not really lining up too terribly well. It's not it's not like the most amazing quality ever, but we're about to snap together the heads. He Pretty cool. We have all the little vertebrae and everything like that. The exoskeleton. All the way down to the detailing on the inside. I don't know. I like bugs and I like fish and stuff. Did you know that shrimp were considered bugs for like the longest time? I don't know about crawdads, but I know that shrimp were considered bugs and they used them as fertilizer. Uh, for a very long time before we decided that we could actually eat them. They have like bug-like features and everything, so it kind of makes sense. They are kind of creepy looking. Yep, so the whiskers are gonna go right there. I'm sure when we're done, there's the head. I'm gonna build most of it and we're just gonna snap it together. Sound good? Good. First things first, nothing too terribly crazy. I'm really impressed with the detailing on it for sure. Um, but yeah, like, I think where it's gonna be really impressive is in the articulation of it. But as far as the build so far, it's fun. Don't get me wrong, it's super fun. You really can't, you can't knock it for the detailing on this, for real. Cause that is just top tier. I feel like because I like to paint my model kits, I almost forgot about doing the decals. They are as annoying as you would expect them to be to apply. They're literally just stickers. They're not water slide decals. They remind me very much of SD Gundam decals, which notoriously like to fall off. It really makes a difference and uh, really shows that this is going to be an Eva kit. So look at it though. Look at it. <laughs> it's so cute. I'm so sorry. So the head is pretty much done. I will say um, <laughs> these little tiny 
sharp little antennas right here. They're literally piercing like my thumb. Like that's how sharp they are. Like if you guys have built Warhammer and all, you know that some of like swords and stuff are super pointy and like go to that top layer of your skin. Yeah, this bad boy, yeah, he bites. Definitely. Um, I'm pretty impressed. His little antennas, I moved them several different ways to where, you know, I thought they might look a little better. If it's sitting down, I like it that way, but we'll have to see. <laughs> I haven't put it together yet, but I can already. <gasps> yep, that's uh, fairly strong, fairly strong. Like not, not too terribly crazy. I'm excited, I'm excited. We'll have to do a couple more of these. We currently have the head and the pincer. So with posability here, uh, I'm already seeing that it's really pretty good. I will say uh, these spikes are nothing to play with. <laughs> they will stab your thumb. It's kind of ridiculous. I wouldn't suggest it for a kid, definitely, um, unless you just watch them. But like, that is, it's a, it, it, it's a little, it's a little intense. That is just wild. I am so impressed with this so far. Want to fight? Want to fight? We have angels to kill. Here's the whole bottom of it. I just went ahead and did the legs. It was a little bit out of order, but I figured let's get the first part done, then we'll do the tail. But look, all these little tiny detailing features on it. Super cool. It looks like somebody who really cared about the anatomical correctness of a crawdad actually did this. But I mean, come on, look at this. Each of these is posable. This, these little pincers actually close. We haven't had to do any more stickers. I think we're gonna wait until we finish the rest of it to actually do the stickers on the back. Honestly, this was a super easy and straightforward build. And you know what? I already like suggested. If you're on the fence and you're just like, oh, you know what? Yeah, I don't know. It all comes down to preference. Who really actually wants an Evangelion crawdad? Like, I literally don't even know what to say when someone's like, is, what, what is that? <laughs> I'd be like, oh, it's a lot of, this, this goes deep. There's a lot of explanation needed for this guy. Okay, she's done, decals and all, with the exception of the little tiny purple ones right here that go on the tip of the feet. Uh, I'm just gonna paint that because if you guys know anything about doing these stupid little stickers on little tiny surfaces like this, I would really rather just take a hand brush and like do like Turbo Dork uh, People Eater. Yeah, I think that's the I think that's the shade that I want for it. But yeah, I would really rather do it. You know what? I really liked this build. Um, it's worth it to people who just want like a weird model kit or have some sort of vested interest in an anatomically correct crawdad because I mean, it literally has all the little feelers down at the bottom there. Um, the pincers move and everything. So how cool is this? I'm super excited. It's done, holy crap. Now, um, another thing too about it, if you do go ahead and get this guy, it comes with a double of every single bit uh, that goes on the tail. So if you want to change it from like purple green, purple green, or like all green, you can do that. Uh, it's, it's yeah, I guess it's just an option. I, I opted to do it exactly like the box showed it. All in all, I would just say that if you get it, uh, be prepared for just an absolute teetotal nightmare on this tail. But the tail was definitely the hardest part. Um, the fitment issues on it and on like the PC joints that go on the inside, they're hard plastic instead of like rubber. Um, so I would just caution and say, you know, be very careful. There's a lot of very tiny, small pieces inside the tail, which make it kind of a nightmare. But I'm sure you guys are seasoned model builders and it probably doesn't scare you, especially if you do uh, trains or tanks, you'll be fine. But uh, in terms of like just a regular run in the mill, like Gunpla Builder, uh, the tail is kind of a pain in the butt, but everything else super straight build I really like the posability and honestly just the way he looks is so freaking cool So let's just go right to the footage of it going like on a little on a little let, Let's let's give it some some better some better love and put it on a rotating platform and special lights and all that stuff ah. 
cue the Evangelion music. Oh no, I can't. I'll get copyright stricken. Ugh. Imagine the Evangelion theme, Cruel Angel Thesis, is playing as this bad boy is turning around on the spinner. Yes, thank you guys for watching today. If you have any questions about the build or you want to see more of it, just let me know. Be sure to follow all of my socials down below because I'm going to be supplementing some of my days for Mobile Suit Miss you know, on different platforms just to make it a little bit easier. I know that this little build is like literally so weird. It makes me so eternally happy. And you know what? I kind of want to get Asuka now just because I want, like, I want both of them. I wonder if they're going to do Reisu. Probably not. But at least we have Shinji and we have Asuka, which to some people Asuka is Beth girl. Anyways, thank you for watching. If you're brand new, please consider subscribing. I will see you guys tomorrow. Let me know if there's anything you guys want to see or any better preference uh, for streaming platforms. I'm going to supplement some of my days in this month on different platforms, doing different things, just because a video every single day is just a little, it's, it's a lot, it's a lot, especially for someone who's been in and out <laughs> of content creation all year. But yes, thank you so much for all the support and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.